I am Adil Kumar and in this video we will try to understand how to find probability of an event. Probability of an event is written as P of A. Now it is ratio of favorable outcomes to total number of outcomes. Na is number of favorable outcomes for the event A and Ns is the total number of possible outcomes. Remember, all these outcomes should be equally likely. And the value of probability is always between 0 to 1. In percent, it could be from 0 to 100 percent. Right? Keeping that in mind, let's find probability of few cases. So we have three examples here. First one, what is the probability of tossing at least one head with two coins? Well, let me read all the three questions. Second one is, what is the probability of rolling a perfect square with one die? Third one is, what is the probability of drawing a face card from a standard deck of cards? Let us answer them one by one. First, what is the probability of tossing at least one head with two coins? Now, to answer this question, let's find all the possible outcomes. So if you toss two coins, you could get both heads, you could get head tail, or you could get tail head, or tail tail, right? So these are total possible outcomes. So we can write from here, ns, the total number of possible outcomes is four, right? And what is the number of outcomes which are favorable to our finding the probability that is Na. We need the probability of tossing at least one head. So these three qualify, correct? Here we do not have any head, so three. So Na is three for us. From this information, we can write that the probability of tossing at least one head is equal to the ratio of favorable to total number of outcomes. That is to say 3 over 4, right? So 3 over 4 is the probability of tossing at least one head with two coins. So that is how we should be solving questions based on probability. The second one here is, what is the probability of rolling a perfect square with one die? So first, let us look into our total number of possible outcomes, right? So let's write down possible outcomes. These pos all items are equally likely. When you roll a die, you could get numbers from 1 to 6, right? You could get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. So in this case, what is, what are all the possible, how many are the possible outcomes? There are six possible outcomes. Out of these six, how many are favorable? We want perfect squares, right? We want perfect squares. Perfect squares, numbers here are one. One is a one square. Two square is four and three square is six. So these are three in all. Therefore, the probability is equal to n of a divided by the outcomes, which are in total, right? So the ratio is 3 over 6, or half, or you could write 50 percent, right? So that is how you're going to solve basic questions on probability. The last one here is, what is the probability of drawing a face card from a standard deck of cards? Now, in a standard deck of cards, we have 52 cards, right? So in this case, we have 52 cards. So that becomes all possible, equally likely events. Perfect. So, NS is 52. Now, we have to draw a face card. What are these face cards? So they could be Jack queen 
or king and we have all four types right hearts clubs diamonds and spades right so basically there are 12 of these so all the outcomes which are favorable for us are 4 plus 4 plus 4 12 and therefore drawing a face card will be the probability ratio of these two right so it can be written as the ratio of favorable outcomes to total number of outcomes and that is 12 over 52 so you can divide both by 4 getting the answer as 3 over 13 right so that is how you can actually find probability of an event i hope that helps let's look into more examples with some variations thank you and all the best